kind of funny how we're talking about a movie about zombies and I just looked at my eye right now and it's kind of red. Uh, that was not intentional, by the way. Um, but yeah, I, I think it goes with the review, right? That's why I decided to still press record on this. So anyway, here we go. Army of the Dead is directed by Zack Snyder and is now unavailable on Netflix. It's been out in theaters for about a week now, so if you got a chance to see it over there, really awesome. But if you did not get a chance to see it, you can check it out now on that streaming service. And in this movie, we follow a crew of people who've been put together to pull off a bank robbery in the middle of a zombie-infested Las Vegas after a pandemic of sorts has spread across the city and turned everybody into these creatures. The difference, however, with this movie is that not only are these creatures a lot smarter than they usually are, they're divided up into factions of sorts. Some of them are just your typical zombies that just want to eat your brains, and then there are some who are more cold and calculated and actually have a conscience to them. Zack Snyder's career essentially began with Dawn of the Dead in 2004, his first movie, which was also a zombie movie and many people still consider one of his best. And so him returning to the zombie genre with this film, a lot of people were very excited because he could bring that same flair back to his movies. And for the most part, I think he does a good job with Army of the Dead. I really like this movie because this movie knows exactly what it is and it commits to that pretty wholeheartedly. I had a ball watching this movie. Does it have issues? Sure, we'll talk more about that later. But if you're going into a film like Army of the Dead expecting, I don't know, groundbreaking storytelling. You're not going to get that, obviously. It's a movie that has a very simple premise. It has a very simple way of executing it. And Snyder is more than up to the task of doing that. And he does a very good job with that. The acting is actually really good. Everybody in the movie is great. Uh, Dave Bautista in particular. He gets a lot more acting range in this one, which I thought was really cool. And he does a really good job with that. And really all of the supporting cast, everybody in this movie is great. Everybody gets a character moment. Everybody gets one big, you know, uh, cinematic uh, stamp to themselves, which is what's really great about it. And they do enough in terms of characterization for you to understand where each of them is coming from, where their lives have, you know, gone ever since this outbreak happened. And bringing that whole thing together made you connect with them just enough so when shit went crazy, you know, you were on their side and you wanted them to get out of the situation. From the very opening of this movie, which by the way is amazing, the opening credits are spectacular. From that point until the end, it's very riveting. I would say the first act takes some time, it sets up some stuff of course, but once it's set up and once they enter this city and once you see just the amount of sheer destruction and violence that has been caused in the years, it's actually quite remarkable what Snyder is able to do. And he has really got a stamp on this movie. It's not just the story and the writing and the direction. He also shot the film. And it's really well shot. He's, he's a pretty good cinematographer. There are some pretty great wide shots of Vegas in particular, especially towards the third act, which were really, really awesome. And he did a pretty good job with it. The visual effects are also really, really good in this movie. And it also has some very great soundtrack needle drops, which were really awesome. One particular needle drop, which is amazing. <laughs> like they, they had to drop that at some point in time in this movie. I was expecting them to drop it and they did, and it was awesome. And I'm so glad that they did it in the way that they did it. But I just remembered one other positive I wanna talk about, which is these zombies. Now, like I said at the beginning of the review, they are divided into factions. And so that creates a very unique opportunity to do something which is pretty cool. Give the zombies character. In particular, these two main zombies, the, the, the leaders of the factions. They do something very interesting with these two zombies. And there's a point in this movie where you're following this one and uh, no spoilers but there's actually an emotional scene with this with this thing which just keeps going blah, 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 blah. so it's like <laughs> i just found that idea to be extremely fascinating and the fact that it was pulled off this way was really cool it actually added a very interesting dynamic to the film that i was not expecting and i think the film did a really good job of it and that's what i think makes it stand out compared to many other zombie movies that I can think of, which is, like I said, most of them would probably focus on eat your brains and try to kill you. But this one is doing that, but also in a way that's very different and in a much more communicative way, if I may say so. As for issues, I would say maybe my biggest issue with it is its runtime. It's two hours and 25 minutes or something. And it could have been a few minutes shorter. Actually, I think it could have been about 
10-15 minutes shorter. It doesn't need to be that long. The problem with this is that it affects the pacing a bit. Especially in the middle portion of the film when there is some downtime that's involved in terms of you know carrying out the heist. It's a very time concentrated thing and so while that's happening there needs to be something else also going on to sort of you know fill up the runtime. But I think that acted as a detriment to the movie and I'm not someone who has an issues with runtimes per se. Snyder's last movie which was four hours long was fine with me. I don't have any issues with runtime on that front. But for some reason while watching this movie, I thought if you could have done this a little bit differently or cut that out, maybe we could have had a little more streamline of a film, something that would have been even more effective. And that, that's, that could have easily fixed it, for sure. And also some points of it do stretch because of that. There's an ending in particular, which is good, but there's a few minutes too long it goes on and I don't, I don't know, I didn't, I didn't really like a couple of moments in that. Aside from that, I had a blast watching Army of the Dead. I thought this was a very entertaining movie and it's worth watching. And if you can, it's on Netflix. So you can check it out whenever you want and watch it however many times you want. And I really like what Snyder did with this. And if he decides to do more on this, which I believe he's planning on doing, I'm looking forward to seeing where it goes. I'm gonna give Army of the Dead an eight out of 10. Thank you very much for watching. Look forward to more reviews very soon. As always, if you like this, please do subscribe and I'll see you guys at the movies.